MATLAB is just like a mathematical program that can do a lot of calculations. It can do many things. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the, the usual complex numbers. And that's it because there's a lot to MATLAB. And I can't show you everything. I'll just show you the complex numbers. So this is how MATLAB handles complex numbers. Let's call our let's call our answer an n and then and then when you write complex you, you give it two numbers since complex numbers has the two numbers so the first part in the parentheses will be the real part and then the second part will be the imaginary part and you close it up and when you hit enter MATLAB automatically produces your your complex number for you so so, um, so, so using a complex function in MATLAB basically just produces a complex number for you. You just give it the real part and the imaginary part, and it'll make the complex number for you. And there are other functions of the MATLAB complex number that it can do. Let's say you have a complex number and you want to take only the real or the imaginary part of it. Well, that can be done too. To, so in this example, in this example that we did, you, you want the real part of this complex number, so you step real, and then and then you, you give it your complex number. In our case, we called it n, so we say real n. We say enter. It'll give us four, which is the real part. Or we we write it again. We give it a different complex number, like six plus ten i, and it should give us six. And now, if you want the imaginary part. All you have to type is I M A G and then put in your complex number and there you will have you will get the imaginary part of your complex number, which was seven with our complex number n. And if you go ahead and, and, and give it another complex number, it should give us ten in this example. So I do so I press enter and it gives me ten. And another function of MATLAB with complex numbers on MATLAB is your conjugate function where you want to get the conjugate of a complex number. Well, in MATLAB to do that, all you have to do is, is type in C-O-N-J and then put in your and then parentheses your complex number and it gives you your complex number for you. And then you can type in the complex number directly as well. So let's put in 3 plus 24i and it'll give you the, the conjugate of that. So as you can see MATLAB has a lot of built-in functions and it can do a lot of things with complex numbers. It can manipulate them and, and mess with them around. So you can see that this is pretty much basically what you can do with complex numbers.